At this point, Hoshio Miru Hito is less of a game and more of a meme. When I started collecting Famicom games, you couldn't give away copies of it. But over the past five years or so, its reputation as the worst Famicom RPG reached the point where people were going out and buying copies. So now if you want a Hoshio Miru Hito cart, it'll cost you about $25. The nicest thing I can say about Hoshio Miru Hito is that the title can translate to Stargazers. Now you might think that doesn't sound like a very positive thing to talk about, but that is the best thing I can say about the game. Hoshio Miru Hito was so bad, it was used as punishment in the Famitsu offices whenever an employee misbehaved. Hoshio Miru Hito is so bad, I struggle to think of a single system in this game that isn't broken in some way. And none of it's broken in a fun way. This is a game that solely exists to inflict pain. Only the most extreme of masochists would even attempt to complete it. The story of the game is that in the future, a giant space city was completely controlled by an AI, but the AI couldn't control espers, and so it decided to hunt them all down. Your character, Minami, is one of those espers. You start the game without equipment or money, one square to the left of the starting town. Where's the starting town? Oh, it's right there, don't you see it? The manual tells us that the town is invisible because of a psychic barrier, but no other town or location in the game has this issue. The next obvious problem you're going to come across is that you move slow. Your walking speed is maybe a quarter of what would be reasonable. It takes forever to get anywhere in the game. Let's go ahead and bring up our status menu. And here's another obvious problem, though it's one that you might not notice. All of the words in the game are spelled in hiragana the syllabic character set in Japanese that's used for all Japanese words. Loan words, on the other hand, are typically written with katakana. Naturally, a sci-fi RPG has a lot of loan words in it, like gold, for some reason, and ray gun, and rocket launcher. And all of these are written in hiragana rather than katakana, which means that the game is misspelling a lot of its text. In the first town, you can buy some medicine, you can buy equipment, but right now we don't have any money. Fortunately, you can get healed by this person all the way down here. If you have a party, you have to heal each member individually. She doesn't do it for everybody. Okay, so let's go get into a fight. We're at level zero right now, and in that case, we get automatically killed by about 70% of the encounters. They just do too much damage to you. There is no option to run away, either. All you can do is fight them, even though it's hopeless. If you die, you go back to the main menu. There's no teleporting to your last rested location, or anything like that. So we've defeated an enemy. Now that we've successfully completed the fight, let's go back and heal, and we'll go to the save option in the ESP menu. That gives you a password. And right now you can see, it's all nice, neat, Latin alphabet. Well, mostly Latin alphabet. We'll go back out and fight, and naturally we die again. But this time we have a password. So let's start entering it. You have to scroll up and down through all of the characters, but it's the entire Latin alphabet, the copyright symbol, all of the hiragana characters, and all of the katakana characters, even though katakana is not used in the game. There's over a hundred characters in all that you have to scroll through when you're entering passwords. And remember, passwords are the only way that you can continue. You know the password's really evil because it includes both number zero and the letter O. The manual actually has a little section helping players tell them apart. Alright, back in the game. I think after that fight we should have enough cash to buy something. But let's bring up the menu and discover that when you continue, you lose all your gold. That's right, if you need to grind up cash to buy equipment, you have to earn it all in one go. In combat, you pretty much just have to choose to hit people over and over again. You will get an Esper power, but it costs you your own hit points to use, and it's not particularly effective on enemies. That number below my portrait at the bottom is my hit points, but it cuts off the ones digit. 
So here I have hundreds of hit points, even though it's only showing two digits. And the really fun part about the combat system is that sometimes you just get no experience or gold after you win. No reason for it, it just happens. Okay, after beating up some of these clowns for a while, I'm finally strong enough to survive a little bit in the wilderness, so let's walk to the next town. There it is. We'll go in and we'll check it out. They have a few stores here, nothing too much. Time to move on. And we're right back to the starting town. Yes, anytime you exit something in Hoshio Miruhito, you wind up back at the starting town. And that's as far as I got with the game. The pitiful state that you start out in, and being forced to re-enter a password constantly really ate up time. One of my goals with this project is that these videos should have enough information that somebody else could pick up the game and play it if they wanted to. I'm not doing that for Hoshio Miruhito. This game doesn't deserve it. I didn't even get into fun things like how you have to buy passes to open certain doors to go through, but you could lock yourself inside because you need a pass to go both in and out. Or how in some dungeons the walls don't exist. It's really obvious that Hoshio Miruhito was released in a completely unfinished state. Not that I think any amount of polish would have made it a good game, but perhaps they could have raised it above the level of unplayable. Is Hoshio Miruhito the worst Famicom RPG? Yes, absolutely. Nothing else even comes close. Is it the worst Famicom game? That one's more iffy. I have a game I dislike worse, and there's perhaps four or five other games that are similar disasters that are barely functional, but there's no way it's not in the bottom five. This is a game that should not exist.